my friends, David Kessler here and welcome back to the studio. So let me ask you a question. Are you a, a mark maker or a shape maker? Now, anybody that's followed, you know, my post for any amount of time knows I really dislike, greatly dislike this term, mark making. It's an art buzzword. That's all it is. It doesn't mean anything. Right? Mark making means absolutely nothing. And if you're basing your paintings on mark making, as opposed to making shapes that overlap and interlock with each other, then you might want to change what you're doing because shapes are the basis of making a painting, not mark making. Uh, it's amazing to me that, you know, I show a couple of videos doing paintings like this one, People say, oh my God, you're doing mark making. You're making lines and marks. And you said you wouldn't do that. <laughs> I don't know where people come up with this stuff, but I've been using line work uh, with a crayon for the past four years. Uh, ever since I, I was introduced to those by some uh, artist friends of mine. I've been making line work with a scraping tool like this for 30 years. You know, lines are shapes to me. Lines and shapes really are the same thing. I mean, it's just another shape, a linear shape. Now, I typically have not made, since I've painted with watercolor, I have not made linear shapes or line work with a brush. I just typically don't do that. So I was thrilled to find these crayons so I could use those to put line work in because I don't like using the brush for line work. I'm not really good at it. I'm really good at it with watercolor, but not so much with acrylic, so I just don't do it. But now all of a sudden people think I'm making marks because I'm putting lines on there with a crayon. Come on, people, you're killing me. I mean, they're just lines and shapes. It has nothing to do with mark making. I don't, I don't, um, acknowledge the term mark making I will never you'll never hear me use the term in a workshop mark making we're gonna learn how to do mark making no we're gonna learn how to make shapes to build paintings that's what we're gonna do that's what I do I make shapes and build paintings from shapes that's the way I was taught to do it that's the way I do it if you want to refer to your stuff as mark making hey knock yourself out I don't care but at least learn the term shapes, what they mean, and how to implement those in your paintings. Because if you're concerned about marks only instead of about making shapes and having a center of interest and a, uh, a good harmonious color combination, then you know, then you and I are going to be doing different kinds of paintings, which is great. Hope this help, uh, <laughs> this video was helpful for you, and we'll see you on the next one.